Hello and welcome back. Today in this video we'll try to find out is it possible to install Windows 7 on a real modern PC. Let's go. Today I have a great opportunity from our sponsor. On Mother's Day you can get a free license key for iTop apps such as iTop Data Recovery, iTop VPN, etc. All you need to do is to share this page. First of all copy this hashtag and then click share. After sharing this page return to the previous page and click yes. Then select a product you want to get a free license for. Click Get Code and type your email. Click Send Price and you will get a free license code on your email. All prizes worth $100,000. You can 100% win, I mean get a free license code. And also, you can win the final prize, $50 Amazon e-card. If you will be lucky, you will receive it on your email. If you're interested, all links will be in the description. So what we have? We have Intel i9, 4900K, Asus Z790H motherboard. NVIDIA RTX 4070, 32GB of DDR5 memory, and PCI Express 4.0 NVMe SSD with 2TB of capacity. Is it possible to run Windows 7 on it? Let's find out. You can now go to the boot menu. On ASUS motherboards you need to press F8 button. I will use Ventoy. What is it and how to use it? You will know in the next video. As I told before, I will use an OG version of Windows 7. Looks like this version doesn't support UFI. We need to try another one. Okay, great, it's loading. Let's see what will happen next. And we are stuck. It's very strange, because if you were watching one of my previous videos about installing Windows 7, you should remember, we have only one issue. No drivers found during Windows 7 setup. But we didn't stuck here. So that's all? This is the end? Of course not. Because if you were watching one of my previous videos while installing Windows Vista on a modern PC, you should remember it was impossible to install Windows Vista on a 9900K and Z390 chipset, but somehow it was possible to install it on a newer Intel 12th generation. The main reason why this is happening is different UFI versions. One of the first UFI versions was released in 2005. From 2005 to this day, a lot of UFI versions were released. And now on this ASUS motherboard, we have one of the latest UFI version, which unfortunately is incompatible with the old Windows 7 image. So what are we going to do now? You won't believe it? This modern ASUS motherboard has an old CSM support. What it means? It means we can boot using an old CSM mode, not UFI, which will increase our chances to install Windows 7. All you need is to type here CSM and turn it on, enabled. Then save changes. And oh my god, we did it. But my mouse and my keyboard are not working at all. It happens because our image doesn't have any USB 3.0 drivers. Our motherboard is also doesn't have PS support, so we can connect to it an old keyboard. I can tell you even more. If we somehow will proceed the installation, we won't be able to install Windows 7 because this image doesn't have NVMe drivers. To solve this problem, we need to use special Windows 7 image with USB 3.0 drivers and NVMe drivers, which I was using in the previous video about Windows 7 installation on a modern PC. You can find this wonderful image on my Patreon page. If you're interested, all links will be in the description. As you can see, all is working well. My mouse is working and my keyboard too. Go next, install now. Ok, now we must choose the version, let it be Windows 7 Ultimate, press next, and great, here is the list. But unfortunately no, because as you can see, the error message appears. We can install Windows 7 on NVMe drive. It happens because in most cases you won't be able to boot from NVMe drive on modern motherboards. As we know, GPT markup is for UFI and MBR is for legacy mode or CSM. And even if I'll try to convert GPT to MBR, we again have the same error. So now, the only way to run Windows 7 is to boot from UFI. But how can we do this? After all, we already did this and got stuck on the logo. I made the mistake. Because first, we need to enable KSM and BIOS. And only then, in the boot menu, select USB stick or Ventoy in UFI mode. And yes, now we are not stuck on the logo. Go next. Let's try to install Windows 7. Nice now we have no error. Go next. And the setup begins. I can't believe it. We did it. Type your name. Go next. Incredible. We are on the desktop now. 
We can now first let's check system properties. As you can see, we have i9-4900K and we have two processors. What? I didn't know I have two CPUs on my modern PC. Okay, it's a joke. Looks like Windows 7 thinks that additional cores of 4900K is a separate CPU. That's why it shows two processors, which of course aren't exist for Windows 7 on the official motherboard page. I will install them manually. Let's see what will happen. After five hours, I finally did it. I installed almost all drivers manually. Some of them were failed to install, but everything works fine. What I did, I just press here, update driver software, browse my computer, then I locate it to my Windows 10 drivers of my motherboard. Usually this works perfectly. For example, I managed to install all drivers on my previous PC on Windows 7 using Windows 10 drivers from the official motherboard page. But we have two problems. Unfortunately, one of the drivers, namely the network driver, just doesn't exist for Windows 7. It has only Windows 10 drivers. But I was lucky, and I don't know how, but I found it on Internet Archive site. And it's working great. Good news. The second problem is GPU drivers. As you can see, there is no Windows 7 GPU driver. Fortex 4070. Of course, I was trying to find them using NVIDIA Advanced Driver Search. But as you can see, there is also no drivers for RTX 4070. I went ahead and tried to find Windows 7 drivers on the forums. But as you can see, one of us is already tried to do it, but it failed. So I decided to use one of my old GPUs, GTX 1080, which of course has Windows 7 drivers. Funny, but RTX 30 series has Windows 7 drivers. So if you have one of them, you can play games on Windows 7. But the driver installation failed. It happened because we need to disable Windows 7 driver signature enforcement. It's very strange because I was trying to use official NVIDIA drivers. And now it's working well. Now next, let's open CPU-Z. And as you can see, we have 5.7 GHz. But my CPU is overclocked. It should show us 6.2 GHz. I think this happened because of the lack of chipset drivers. But it sees all cores. Let's open Task Manager. As you can see, all cores are working well. Of course, they are not optimized. Only Windows 11 has optimization for additional cores. But as you can see, they are working well, which is great. What about performance? The system is working very fast. Just incredibly fast. Watch at the speed. Internet Explorer opens instantly. Let's open Google Chrome. Let's open Fast 2. Go to my channel. It works great. Honestly, I've never seen such fast Windows performance in my life. On all PCs which I have. Why Windows 11 doesn't have such performance as Windows 7 did? The next Windows 7 was installed on PCI Express 4.0 NVMe SSD. So let's check the speed. Let's check the results. From the right side we have Windows 11 results and from the left side we have Windows 7 results. And we have less speed in Windows 7. I think the reason is still the same, the chipset drivers. Of course I turned on Windows Arrow. Look how great it looks. It feels so fresh. Honestly I want to use Windows 7 again. It looks even better on a modern monitor. Amazing. One more interesting thing about Windows Arrow. If I turn it off, Steam starts to glitch. But if I turn it on, now it's working well. It was not surprising because, as you can see here, Steam will stop running on Windows 7 in zero days. It means right now, today. Now next, let's start Cinebench. As you can see on the right side, we have the score on Windows 11. And on the left side, we have the score in Windows 7. And as you may notice, the score is almost the same. What it means? It means that we have the same performance in Windows 7, which is great. Go next, it's time to test the games. Is it possible to run modern games on Windows 7 on a modern PC in 2024? Let's find out. First, I try to run Call of Duty Warzone, but the error message appears. The operating system doesn't meet the minimum specs to run it. You will need at least Windows 10. So we can't run Warzone on Windows 7. Go next, let's try Apex Legends. Everything looks fine, but again the error message appears. Windows 10 on newer is required. 
please upgrade your operating system. So we can't run Apex Legends. Okay, go next, let's try to play Control. Let's see what will happen. Oh, it's working. Nice. Good news. And yes, everything is working well. We can play Control on Windows 7. But not so long. Because as you can see here, you won't be able to start the launcher on Windows 7. You will need at least Windows 10. Okay, go next, let's try Counter-Strike 2. And it's not working at all. We even don't have any error. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's try that space remake. And it's not working at all too. It says the server is not reachable. Check your internet connection and click retry. Of course, I have internet connection and it works fine. But by some unknown reason, we can run the game. Go next, what about Doom Eternal? Will it run? And yes, it works fine. So we can play Doom Eternal on Windows 7. Go next, let's try to run Fortnite. It looks fine, but no, it crashed. So unfortunately, we can't play Fortnite on Windows 7. Go next, what about GTA 5? Will it work? Unfortunately, no. Support for Windows 7 and Windows 8 has ended. Please visit the official page. We can't run GTA 5, it's a pity. Let's go ahead, let's try Half-Life 2. And of course it's working well. Oh, the G-Man. The game works properly. Let's go ahead, let's try to play PUBG. And we can't, because it no longer supports Windows 7, Windows 8 or Windows 8.1. We need to install Windows 10 or later. Go next, let's try RDR2. And again the error message appears, emp.dll file is missing, so we can't play the game. We have one more game, the Callisto Protocol, and we have the same issue, it's just not loaded. Go next, as usual we'll try to play Half-Life Uplink. This game just works everywhere, on all operating systems I've tested, and it's working well. It's strange because we have 72 FPS on lock, but the vertical sync is turned off. To sum up, is it possible to run Windows 7 on a modern PC? The answer is yes. We can install it in UFI mode, so it's even possible to run Windows 7 on NVMe SSD, which is great and give us incredible performance. But unfortunately today you can't play modern games on it. The only modern game we can run is Control. It's painful to acknowledge, but Windows 7 is completely dead today for modern games. Anyway, Windows 7 is one of the greatest operating systems ever made and it deserves to make a review about it. You will see it in the next video. Leave in the comment section what operating system you want me to install in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, press the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. See you later, bye.